Sit round a fire with this cup of brew, a fiend and a werewolf on each side of you. This cannibal orgy is strange to behold, and the maddest story ever told. because its only known occurrence is among the descendants of one Ebenezer Mary, a progressive age regression beginning about the 10th year and continuing steadily throughout the victim's lifetime. It is believed that eventually the victim of the Mary syndrome may even regress beyond the prenatal level, reverting to a pre-human condition of savagery and cannibalism. Many authorities do not accept the existence of the Mary Syndrome. Incredible, but true. Nevertheless, I know only too well. Of course, there's no Mary Syndrome anymore. It was extinguished forever from the human race that fateful day ten years ago. such place. We don't know anything about it.
say yes, somebody's home.
Virginia, now you stay right there. You're going to sit down. Sit down. You too, Alyssa. Now, children, I want to tell you something, and I want you to listen very, very carefully. You remember last time when those two children climbed over the wall and Virginia almost caught them in her spider web? Mm -hmm. Well, that got people to wondering about us. And that's bad. Your daddy wouldn't like that, Virginia. Now, I can't be here all the time. You know that I have to take Ralph into the city to the doctor once in a while. And Virginia, you were supposed to mind your sister. You were not supposed to play spider anymore. Now uh, you never, never can play spider again. Oh, Ralph, what have you got there? Something that man had. Uh, Ralph, give it to me. That's it. Thank you, Ralph. Huh. This is from a lawyer. Yeah, a lawyer. What is this, Bruno? Something bad, isn't it? How many times do I have to tell you just because something isn't good doesn't mean it's bad? I mean bad. It must be something very bad. Nothing is very bad. It isn't? He's going to come here and bring other people. Daddy wouldn't like that. What other people? They want to make, they want to become your legal guardians. As the only other known surviving heirs of the estate of Titus W. Mary. Isn't that daddy? Uh, on the 14th of... Today's the 14th. Children, we've got to keep some secrets today. Coming in, Clara. 
Master. I'm coming, Uncle Ned. Really, Emily? I mean, I wish you'd kind of... Peter, if you don't like my driving, you may feel free to take a trolley. Now, wait just a minute. This was not my idea. I... I've never heard of the Mary family. What is that? They're our cousins, darling. It behooves us to meet them. All right. I mean, you know, all right. But remember that it was not my idea, okay? Of course not, darling. You don't have ideas, baby Peter, brother. in the world makes you think this is the right road. It's got to be. Ha! There, you see? So, this is it. I don't see any sign of, uh, what's his name? Uh, the lawyer. Obviously he hasn't arrived as yet. The caretaker, he probably went to meet him in a horse and buggy. Might as well go on up. They'll be along any minute. Why don't we, uh... What's the matter, Peter? Chicken? Well, I just don't think it's, you know, just right to go barging in on somebody that you're about to sue. Oh, just remember, we're trying to avoid that expense. If possible. Well, huh. I'll leave that up to you. You saw a ghost, right? Don't be funny. There was a... There was an awful... A, 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 a baboon. Well, let's not have a complete double duck. Fit. What's going on here? Why have we stopped? They're blasting up ahead, sir. They're what? Blasting, sir, for the new highway. Oh. Well, better wait it out, I suppose. Yes, sir. They won't be long, sir, Mr. Shocker. The name is Schlocker, Mr. Bruno. Oh, oh please, sir. Uh, Bruno. Just plain Bruno, sir. Oh. Come on, buddy. Let's get this car out of here. Yes, Rick. Yes. Ah, I 
give us all. So nice to see you here. Uh, and the young Mr. Hall. Hi, Fucker, how are you? Good to see you, my boy. B, this is my secretary, Miss Morris. Hi, Miss Morris. How do you do? Hi. Get the rest of it, Schlocker. Let's go in and take a look at the place. Oh, yes, sir. I've been away from the children too long already. Uh, he, you just uh, follow me, and I'll show you where to park your machine. Uh, but if I may ask a favor, please, uh, please treat the children tactfully. You see, they're not accustomed to uh, strangers, and they might act wild if, if encouraged. <laughs> Now, ladies, this is your Auntie Emily and your Uncle Peter. Elizabeth and Virginia. Well, there's two pretty names for two such pretty young ladies. Uh, this is Miss... Uh, Anne. Anne. Uh, Ralph. Where's Ralph? Ralph. Ralph! Virginia. He's just a big kid. Yes, sir. It's like you say, sir. He's just a, a big kid. <laughs> now, see here, Bruno. Uh, you don't seem to realize just how serious all this is. Now, these uh, children are obviously in need of qualified professional care. Wouldn't you say? Well, uh, there's a great deal in what you say, sir. But uh, I gave their father a solemn oath that I'd never allow their unfortunate malady to become the object of public scrutiny. Nonsense. The days when we hid our insane behind walls of shame went out with, with that old car of yours. They're talking about us, Virginia. I know. But Mr. Shocker, an oath to a dying man, that can't be taken lightly. Now, uh, Bruno, what do you mean by malady? I mean, well, I've seen backward kids, is it... Well, no, it's, it's, it's more than a retardation. It's a, sort of a, a regression, a, a progressive deterioration of the mental faculties, a, a rotting of the brain, so to speak. It uh, begins in late childhood and progresses rapidly, uh, ultimately resulting in physical deformity, rather like uh, the last stages of uh, paresis. Really that bad? Yes, uh, the Mary family, or at least uh, this branch of them, uh, have been afflicted for generations. And I'm sorry to say, sir, I, I think this is the last generation. What a shame. Bruno, you mean all three of these? Yes, sir. Uh, the unfortunate result of inbreeding. Uh, never mind that now, Bruno. We can go into all that at the proper time. Mm. Let's see. Yes. I would like to know the whereabouts of certain other members of the Mary family. The uh, two sisters of Titus W. Mary and brother named, I believe, Nedrick Mary, if alive. Alive? Well, uh, you might say so, sir. Come on, Bruno. Don't beat around the bush. Are they around or not? They're talking about Uncle Ned. I know. Well, it, it became necessary to put them in a, a a more private sort of an institution. My good man, are you saying that you, that the family chauffeur has been in sole charge of this entire estate and these minor children? Oh, I never thought of it that way, sir. You see, I, I promised the master Yeah, that yeah, yeah, we know all about that. Listen, Schlocker, it's been a long trip. I'd like to get cleaned up and... Get off my feet for a while. We can go through this after dinner. Dinner? Yes, uh, it is dinner time. Matter of fact, Bruno, we intend to spend the night. Oh, no, sir. That's quite impossible. Why, why, we're not prepared for guests. There seems to be a difference of opinion as to who is the guest and who the host is. <laughs> uh, 
You do have food in the house, don't you? Well, uh, yes, sir. Uh, you, you see, our diet is very austere. Uh, but I, I suppose we could find something. Yes. Yes, I, I suppose we could. <laughs> I smell a bug. A big, black, juicy... Ralph is ready, Bruno. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Bring him right down. My dear, there's no doubt in my mind that we have here an absolutely clear-cut prima facie open and shut case. Great. Now, all I want to know is what is it worth in dollars and cents? Well, that's a little difficult to tell at this juncture. Uh, oh. Perhaps with an audit, uh, Miss Morris, give me schedule B. All right here, Mr. Schlager. Of course, this is only the visible part of the iceberg, so to speak. With, with more information, we can project the curve. Uh, hey. Hi, Ralph. Everybody, look at Ralph. He's gotten all dressed up for it. Oh, yes, isn't he cute? Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. Well, at last. Thank you, Virginia. That was very good, Virginia. Oh, you go right ahead. But hurry up. Hurry up. I will, I will. Uh, hungry, Miss Morris? Oh, yes. I'm famished. Shall we then? Well, uh, there we are. Uh, just sit wherever you like. Uh, we're not very formal here at uh, Mary House. We haven't had uh, guests in a long time. No, it, it's, it's been a long, long time. Uh, I, I might add that it's a great pleasure. You can sit down now, Ralph. You didn't tell me. Virginia, we're waiting for you. Sit in your chair, Virginia. Please. What is that? Well, that's rabbit. Obviously. Not bad, Bruno. Looks done to a turn. Thank you, sir. I hope you enjoy it. You know, we're very fortunate to have meat for our guests. You see, uh, we're vegetarian. Vegetarian? It's dead. We don't eat dead things. But good 
Lord, man, why on earth? The master. Don't say it. You made a promise. It was no idle whim, I assure you. The master knew of the grave danger. The danger? Well, yes, Bruno. What is that supposed to mean? Well, the master believed, and he should know, that the eating of flesh would hasten the progress of their condition. Now, I've heard everything. Wait a minute, Bruno. Now, you mean like that old story about the lion cub, who's actually tame until he gets his first taste of fresh meat, right? I'm afraid it's even more serious than that, sir. Well, whatever that is, a rabbit or whatever, I pass. Well, it looks good to me. Hey, I'll carve. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Carry on. Oh, and I must tell you all, you have Ralph here to thank for providing it. Is that right? Good for you, Ralph. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll have something else. Thank you. What do you call these? Ah, uh, a rare treat. Our favorite dish. We call it uh, souffle fungi. What? Mushroom schlocker. Oh, <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> a real staple. They grow profusely on the ground. And uh, <laughs> did Ralph... Oh, no, no. Virginia provided these. You see, she has an uncanny knack for picking only the uh, non-poisonous ones. Come on, Schlocker, let's not hog this stuff. Thank you, Uncle Peter. Thank you, Uncle Peter. Hey, Schlocker, you certainly can't say they're not polite. <laughs> well, Miss Howe, if you don't feel up to the heavy affair, perhaps you'd like to try some of our fresh garden greens? Yeah, Emily. Here, try the salad. Allow me. This thing isn't dressed. Isn't Ralph a vegetarian too? Oh, yes. But Ralph's allowed to eat anything that he catches. This is very good. You don't know what you're missing. As I told you, our diet is very austere. But it's most healthy. You know, that's great. I think everybody ought to eat like that. Oh, we have our delicacies, too. But they're not in season right now. Oh, no, no, sir. Uh, you wouldn't want any of that. I guess not. Yeah. What do you think about spending the night now, Emily? You couldn't drag me away, Peter. Good show, my dear. I'm with you. Oh, it's like I told you, sir. It's oh, awesome. There's nothing more to say, Bruno. Now, now, let's make things easy on yourself. We want to be fair. The sisters can move in together, and you and um, Ralph. Well, uh, we might do that. Oh, no, no. It's quite impossible. It's too dangerous. Hey, you see, uh, this is an old building. Uh, the, the wood is rotten. Uh, you'd, you'd have to know your way about in the dark. Nonsense. The next thing you'll tell us, it's haunted. Oh, oh, no, nothing like that. He means they're vampires. Oh, yes, and werewolves. Are you a horror film fan, Miss Morse? Oh, yes, I love it. Dracula, Frankenstein. And the mummy? Oh, the mummy. I love the mummy. The way he walks. Steps scrape. 
Jack Scrape. Oh, and the Wolf Man. <laughs> There's going to be a full moon tonight. Uh, Mr. Schlocker, I mean, uh, if, if you don't need me anymore tonight, I, I could just as well stay in down in... There's an inn in the village. Um, as I see it, there are only two rooms anyway. Uh, Peter, if you took the car, do you think you could find lodgings for Miss Morris? Yeah, I saw a motel coming in, yeah. Fine, fine. Good idea. <laughs> just be sure you have her back on time, young man. Busy day ahead, you know. Don't worry. Thank you, Mr. Howe. You're very welcome. Children, some of our guests are going to stay the night. Would you come help me prepare the rooms? Yes, Bruno. <laughs> Spider! Got it. It's spiders. We have lots of spiders. Do you like spiders, Mr. Howe? Oh, sure, Virginia. I love spiders. <laughs> Would you like to play spider with me? Virginia. Sure. I'll play spider with you. Maybe tomorrow. I'm sorry, Mr. Howe, that we couldn't accommodate everyone, but I'll be looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Hey, me too, Bruno. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good night, kids. Uh, well, Miss uh, Morris, we should be getting an early start. I'd like that very much, Mr. Howe. Hey. This is the phoniest setup I've ever seen. There is something terribly wrong here. And I intend to find out exactly what it is. Say, it's uh, still early, Miss Morris. Perhaps you'd like to have a drink at that inn in the village that uh, Bruno mentioned? I'd like that very much, Mr. Howe. Oh, and uh, maybe a sandwich, if you don't mind.
call in the authorities. Now there are laws. Criminal laws, I'm... No, oh, this isn't right. There are proper procedures. Special oh! remedy. Please, please, could be litigated. nice to hate. Children, I, I, I've got something I want to tell you, and I, I want you to listen very, very carefully. A long, long time ago, I, I promised your daddy that I'd take care of you and Ralph forever and ever. And then came this Mr. Schlocker. He was a, a nasty, mean man. He wanted to take you away where old Bruno would never see you again. But you hurt Mr. Schlocker and he can't do that now. But soon there'll be more Mr. Schlockers and they'll be nastier and meaner than he was and you won't be able to hurt all them because there'll be too many of them they can't take me away from you bruno they can't make me go away you won't let them will you bruno <laughs> i promised your daddy i wouldn't i knew you wouldn't bruno i'm not afraid Well, we didn't have much time anyway. Pretty soon, Ralph, you'll be ready to join Uncle Ned and Aunt Clara. And then you. We want to stay here forever and ever, Bruno. With you and, and Ralph and Uncle Ned. We will. I promise. Forever and ever. We will. You know, I, I know where there's a nice new toy that'll do a wonderful thing. A toy? Yes. And you can stay up late just to see it. Can we? Uh-huh. Now, I have to go a little ways to get it. 
said it'll only take me a little while. Please don't go away, Bruno. I'm scared. It won't take but a few minutes. And I'll be back. Now, Elizabeth, I expect you to take care of your brother and sister and see that they don't get in any trouble. Will you do that? Oh, I will, Bruno. <laughs> A wolf man, fan, and oh yes, I think that's how every man should be, like a wild beast. No vacancy again. That's the last one, Anne. There isn't another town for fifty miles. See, I guess we shouldn't have spent all that time at the village inn. Hmm. I didn't realize how late it was getting. You lose count, they keep taking away the glasses. Who was that? I know, but I remember exactly how many. Uh, listen, I don't, there's nothing we can do except go back and spend the night with Emily and Schlocker.
spiders aren't supposed to eat other spiders. Cannibal spiders do. Oh, no, it's Uncle Peter and that pretty lady. They've come back. Virginia, you mustn't hurt anyone else. Bruno will really hate you. He will not. Anyway, I like Uncle Peter. He's not like that bad man. All the same, they'll tell on us. Would they? Would they tell? Of course they'll tell. Bruno said there'd be others, didn't he? They're coming. What do we do? We'll have to make a plan. Somebody's up and about. Good. I hope it's not that Ralph. Oh, Ralph's just a big kid. Do you really think so? Sure.
and the big black spider goes round and round and wraps the bug all up in her spider mm. Virginia, what happens when the spider gets the bug all wrapped up in a web? Aha! Uh -huh. I won't tell. Ah, <laughs> all right. How long does it take to play this game? Oh, we're almost done. Oh, huh. There now. Hey. Virginia. Hey, what's the spider what's the spider do now? What? Oh yes. Um now the spider does a little dance. <laughs> and make him work so that his juice will taste better. Virginia, I think we'd better play another game. Uncle Peter, do you like that pretty lady? Yes. Yes, I do. Do you like me? Uh, where does Mr. Bruno come back? Bruno won't hate me. He promised. Spiders like bugs. They taste good. But I guess bugs don't like spiders very much. I like spiders. I like spiders. I do too. Well, I guess I have to sting you now. You have to what? Uh, Virginia, what about Mr. Schlocker? Mr. Schlocker? Hey, Schlocker! away from it. But I'll be right back. Don't go away, Buck. What are we going to do with it? Ralph can't let go. What are we going to do with her? Don't you know you made this plan? I didn't have enough time to finish it. She wiggles just like a big squiggly bug in a spider web. <laughs> hmm. Uncle Ned could make her quiet. No. Bruno would be very mad. Anyway, Ralph likes her, see? We mustn't hurt her. Just make her quiet. Ah. Now, Spider is very clever. She very cleverly drains the vital juices from the bug's body. And that makes the bug stop squiggling. Would that make her stop squiggling? <laughs> Help me find something sharp.
play with her better. <laughs> Survivor, naturally, I inherited the wealth of the Marys, which uh, 
later turned out to be quite vast. <laughs> uh, more important than that, though, my wife. That's our daughter, Jessica. Mommy, may I go outside now? Well, all right, Jessica, dear. But be sure and come back into the house if it starts raining again. Oh, I will, Mommy. So the Mary syndrome was extinguished forever with the family that carried it. Uh, my own branch of the family, being rather distant, we never suffered from the uh, curse. <laughs> mm. 